supervisory authorities and their powers. The General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, established a robust system of supervision and enforcement to ensure compliance with its provisions. At the heart of this system are the supervisory authorities SAs, appointed by each EU member state to oversee the enforcement of the GDPR at a national level. Guidelines 8 2020 seconds. These guidelines, issued by the European Data Protection Board EDPB, set out a clear framework for identifying a controller or process's lead supervisory authority LSA. The LSA is determined by the location of the controller or process's main establishment or the place where key decisions regarding processing activities are made. LSA responsibilities. The LSA's primary role is to act as the primary point of contact for cross-border processing activities, coordinating investigations and enforcement actions with other relevant SAs. Powers. SAs have broad powers to investigate, audit, and enforce GDPR compliance. This includes the authority to 1. Conduct on-site inspections and audits of data processing activities. 2. Demand information and access to records from controllers and processors. 3. Issue warnings, corrective orders, and impose fines for GDPR violations. The European Data Protection Board EDPB. The EDPB plays a critical role in the European data protection ecosystem, providing guidance, coordination, and dispute resolution between SAs. Role and composition. The EDPB comprises the heads of national SAs and the European Data Protection Supervisor, EDPS. The European Commission also participates as an observer. Guidelines and recommendations. The EDPB issues guidelines, recommendations, and best practices to clarify and interpret GDPR provisions, ensuring consistent application across the EU. Cross-border cases, the EDPB oversees and facilitates cooperation between SAs in handling cross-border cases, ensuring that enforcement actions are consistent and effective. Dispute resolution. In cases of disagreement between SAs, the EDPB can resolve disputes, issuing binding decisions to ensure cohesive enforcement. The role of the European Data Protection Supervisor, EDPS. The EDPS is an independent institution, tasked with overseeing the processing of personal data by EU institutions and bodies. Independence. The EDPS operates independently from other EU institutions, ensuring impartial supervision of data protection practices. Advisory role. The EDPS advises EU institutions on data protection policies and practices, offering guidance on compliance with the GDPR and other relevant regulations. Enforcement. The EDPS can investigate potential violations, impose corrective measures, and work with national SAs to ensure compliance across EU institutions. Consequences for GDPR violations. Process and procedures. When GDPR violations occur, there are clear processes and procedures in place to address them. Complaints. Data subjects can file complaints with SAs, triggering investigations into potential GDPR violations. Investigations. SAs can conduct comprehensive investigations, including on-site audits, demands for information, and access to processing facilities. Resolution. Following an investigation, SAs can issue warnings, corrective measures, or impose fines, depending on the severity of the violation. Infringements and fines. The GDPR establishes a two-tier fine system for infringements. Lower tier, fines of up to 10 million euros or 2% of global annual turnover, whichever is higher, can be imposed for breaches such as failing to 1. Maintain records of processing activities. 2. Appoint a data protection officer, DPO. 3. Report data breaches promptly. Higher tier, fines of up to 20 million euros or 4% of global annual turnover, whichever is higher, can be imposed for severe breaches, including 1. Unlawful processing of personal data. 2. Violating data subject rights. 3. Transferring data to third countries without appropriate safeguards. Mitigating factors. In determining the level of fines, SAs consider several factors, including 1. The nature, gravity, and duration of the infringement. 2. The number of data subjects affected and the extent of the damage. 3. The level of cooperation from the controller or processor during the investigation. Class actions. The GDPR recognizes the importance of collective redress, allowing data subjects to pursue class actions for GDPR violations. 
Collective actions. Data subjects can collectively bring actions against entities for GDPR breaches, often represented by non-profit organizations specializing in data protection. Role of SAs. In some cases, SAs can facilitate these actions, providing streamlined redress mechanisms. Data subject compensation. The GDPR provides data subjects with a right to compensation for damages resulting from GDPR violations. Material and non-material damages. Data subjects can seek compensation for both material damages, e.g., financial loss, and non-material damages, e.g., emotional distress, caused by GDPR breaches. Joint liability. If both the controller and processor are involved in a breach, they may be held jointly liable, ensuring that data subjects have a clear path to compensation. Court proceedings. Data subjects can pursue compensation through national courts, and the GDPR's provisions aim to streamline these processes, providing effective remedies for those affected. Conclusion. The GDPR has established a comprehensive system of supervision and enforcement, ensuring robust protection of personal data across the EU. Supervisory authorities, the EDPB, and the EDPS play critical roles in overseeing compliance, while clear consequences, including fines, class actions, and compensation, ensure accountability for GDPR violations. This multifaceted approach provides a strong framework for data protection, upholding the rights of individuals and fostering trust in the digital age.